1977, a brash 26-year-old with officiating bloodlines and Philadelphia toughness broke into the ranks of NBA referees. He'd earned that spot after putting his talent on display for two years in the Eastern League. In less than 10 years, a New York minute in officiating terms, he was working the NBA Finals. In the years since that rapid ascent, Joe Crawford has earned a reputation as a stand-up guy, a great official, a student of the craft, and a mentor to other officials. Steve Javi believes he was one who benefited from Crawford's tutelage. To me, Joe Crawford is the best official that has ever donned a jersey. Not only the best official in play calling and working with on the floor as a partner, but also as the best teacher. Joe has a doctorate, I say, in officiating because this guy knows just about everything there is. He's probably forgot more about officiating than I ever learned. Crawford's bosses know all about his mentoring as well. I'm really impressed, however, after working with you closely by what an ambitious learner you are, even at this stage in your career. And I think that's why you've, uh, you have the longevity that you have. You've, you continue to learn. You continue to strive to get better and it's evident in your work. Joey is the ultimate professional, from leadership in the classroom at camp to leadership on our conference calls. Always has a question, helps us with the answer. He's also, his role as a crew chief is so dynamic, from the morning meetings to videotape review after the games, and he is also the guy that always takes the blame. Crawford educates anyone who needs help. Your signal's awful. No, no, no. This. This, no good. No good. Just sit there and watch the game. Joe comes from one of the most famous officiating families in sports. His dad, Henry Shag Crawford, umpired in the National League from 1956 to 1975. His older brother, Jerry, followed in his father's footsteps and umpired 34 years. Jerry is one of Joe's greatest admirers. Me personally, I, I mean, I'm very proud of Joe. Point is, is that Joe is at the pinnacle of his, of his career, and he's been doing it for a, a very long period of time. He's been in the NBA Finals for as far back as I can remember. In addition to his kin, Joe is respected and admired by many inside and outside the basketball world. It's his talent and professionalism that have led to more postseason assignments than any active NBA referee. When you look at the people he has mentored, the Mike Callahans, the Eddie Malloys, the Mark Wunderlichs, the Steve Javies, Joe was their mentors, and these people all made it to the finals. He gave me my only ejection ever, but Mike, he was a man's man when he refereed. I never appreciated him more than when you were on the road in a tough environment. He'd make the tough call. Since 86, 86 was my first game. It was Houston and Boston. How many games I've actually had? How many finals though? How many games? Finals. Not oh, since 86. 86. 86, I haven't missed a year. All right. Yeah. You're the best. The thing I like about Joe Crawford is He's not official who holds a grudge. Joe told me about being objective, to be able to look at myself and judge whether I'm doing well that night or well in what I'm doing in my career. And I learned that from Joe. He was very, very critical of himself and of his work. And that's what made him the best referee that he is today. At games, there is no doubt who's in control when Joe is at the game. And that being said, he has a reputation of being a tough guy on the floor. But what I look at Joey is how nice, how genuine he is off the floor. Whenever you talk to people in hotels or, or at airports, the guy that always rises to the top as being the nicest guy in the league is Joey Crawford. Well, maybe not everybody is a huge fan. That's not, we didn't say and that. When it, when, the hearts. And when it comes to Joe Crawford, it doesn't get any nearer Bang. or dearer. Bang! <laughs> Got to take on Ernie, take on Chuck. Shut it, it up now. It, that, bang, bang. That's, that's, that's Joey that, Crawford. That's Joey Crawford. <laughs> you know, he's getting an award tonight because of blowing the whistle on me. You know how many fouls he called on me? I don't want to hear that. He always holds the group. You're a very hard Congratulations, guy. Congratulations, Joey. Shut it up. If, I, if you pitch me, I'm going to say ouch. If I pitch you, I'm going to say ouch. Same thing. A foul is a foul. Congratulations, same. Joey, on your Golden Whistle Award. You should get it. You called 179 <laughs> offensive fouls a year on me. Thank you very much, Mr. Crawford. Joking aside, Joe Crawford's passion for his craft 
His professionalism and his willingness to share his time and knowledge put him in a special category of officials. We call them gold whistle recipients. I don't think I have ever met an official in any other sport that has as much passion for officiating as Joe Crawford has. And it doesn't matter the sport. It doesn't have to be basketball. If there is a sport on TV, he's watching and he's really more focused on the officials than anything else. I, I've never seen it in my 30 plus years working professional basketball. Joey, congratulations on winning this award, the Golden Whistle. You totally deserve it. You are an example of a stellar official, a uh, true professional, um, and someone who certainly merits the highest award that can be given to somebody in, in this profession. You are, you're a um, great official, I'm a great guy. I've known you for a long time, which that just means you're old. Uh, but congratulations, man. Enjoy your night, and uh, God bless you for the rest of your life. Congratulations, Joey, on winning the Golden Whistle Award. 37 years in the NBA, most of those as a crew chief, 49 finals games. Who needs to say more? Joe, you've been a credit to your referees. You've been a credit to certainly us and helping us over the years, and you're a credit to the NBA. Congratulations. Congratulations, Joe, on receiving the 2014 NASO Gold Whistle Award. Congratulations also to your beautiful wife, Mary, and your children and grandchildren, as all of you share in this prestigious award. What you have accomplished during your career, Joe, both on and off the court, exemplifies what this award is all about. The passion you have for officiating is evident in your work on the court and also in the work of the officials you have mentored during your storied career. I know personally, I would have never achieved the level of success that I had if it were not for you and for your love of teaching this profession. What really impresses me, Joe, is not only the dedication you have to work hard to be the very best at what you do for a living, but the constant work and dedication at being the best person that you can be. God bless you, Joe. There isn't anyone more deserving of this award than you. Thank you for all you've done and continue to do for the officiating community. And for me personally, thank you for being my dear friend and mentor. I love you, Joe. Congratulations.